This week on Theme Park Worldwide, the show, we're back here at the world of theme parks, which is bursting full of theme park news for me to tell you. We're going to be looking at a brand new Gerstlau roller coaster coming to Power Park in Finland. We've got an opening date for the brand new wooden coaster at Tato Park, and much more, including Merch Paradise, Guess the Coaster, and even more theme park news. My name's Sean Sandbrook, this is Theme Park Worldwide, the show, and that means it's time to cue those titles. A very warm welcome to this week's episode of Theme Park Worldwide, the show. How are you all doing? Hope you're having a great couple of weeks. Obviously, the past two weeks we've been on location at Europa Park and then last week Disneyland Paris. So we've not really had any theme park news for a couple of weeks uh, to bring you, which has meant loads of builds up. And I'm going to be revealing it all to you in this week and next week's show. So it's going to be action packed. And without further ado, let's get straight in with our news off the rail. First up then, this week in News Off The Rails, going to talk to you about the Tato Park Wooden Roller Coaster. Now this coaster, since I last spoke to you about it about a month ago, has absolutely shot up. It's nearly finished. It's looking great. Uh, so before I carry on, let's show you a little aerial photo, if you like, of this brand new Woody. Uh, there it is. A look at that. It looks amazing. Uh, what I like about this ride, it's got a very tall lift hill and the rest of the track stays pretty low to the ground. So this thing's going to fly around. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Uh, and I can't wait to ride it. And we're going to be riding it very, very soon. Yes, here on Theme Park Worldwide, we'll be going, we'll be doing a vlog. Uh, and obviously our review of this ride, we're going to be going sometime over the summer. Uh, as we've now got an opening date for the ride, which is June the 5th, which is actually next Friday. So that's very, very soon. They haven't got long to get this ride finished. Uh, and as you can see by the aerial footage there, it still looks like there's a little bit of work to, uh, to do around the area. But we'll have to see on this one. 105 foot tall ride with a 95 foot tall first drop. Uh, 8.5 million euros has been spent on this new ride. Obviously it's just outside Dublin over in Ireland. Uh, so it's quite cheap to get there. You can get some really good flights over there as well. So I recommend a lot of you who want to get out there and do it. This is one that's really doable for you guys. It's cheap to get there. Uh, you can even do it in a day trip possibly looking at some of the flight times. Um, but it looks really great. I can't wait to be there over summer. Uh, I think it's going to be a great ride. Like I say, it looks like there's quite a bit of work still to do there uh, on finishing the station area off and, and the big car park next to it. Um, but yeah, that opens next week. I'm sure we'll start getting some reviews in from you guys who are going for the opening day. I know a couple of people who are, so I'll ask them to uh, let me know so I can tell you guys on the show. Looks like a great ride and we're very lucky to have that so close to home. Big new wooden coaster. So yeah, looking forward to that. Moving on then to an interesting ride. Now, as a lot of you know, who've watched the show and vlogs for a while, you will know that Gerstlau rides are something that I'm not really a massive fan of. However, this one here looks like it's going to be a great ride. So I thought I'm going to have to show you this, guys, uh, in the show. So this is at Power Park in Finland. I'll be honest, I've never really heard of Power Park for a while. Uh, you know, I've not heard of it until last year, I don't think, when I first heard about this coaster. Um, let's have a little look then. Uh, this ride and what we've got. So obviously, I showed you a few weeks ago some construction images of it. It's a Gerstlauer Infinity Coaster. Uh, now, Smiler at Alton Towers is actually classed as an Infinity Coaster as well. However, this one, instead of having lift hills, is a launched ride. It's got five inversions, reaching a maximum speed of 62 miles per hour. Now, in a few moments, I've got some testing footage to show you of this ride, uh, which actually opens this Saturday, so the 30th, uh, of May opens this weekend. It's going to be a great ride. It looks absolutely amazing. And the best thing about it is it's got lap bars. If only Smile had lap bars and it could have been as, as amazing as this ride. I mean, it looks great. Uh, I'm going to shut up about it. Here's a little look at some testing footage uh, of the brand new ride at Power Park uh, in Finland. It looks absolutely awesome, this one. Really, really good.
great to see that ride there. Junker uh, is the name of this awesome new ride. Interesting name, but look at how it speeds around them inversions. It doesn't fly you through them too fast. It takes it at a nice pace, and I think you're going to get some really good force. Uh, the second section of that ride as well, to me, looks even better, because as soon as you come off that mid-circuit brake run, as soon as you go straight down into the overbank, uh, it looks really good, like a really good Gerstlauer. I think that would be my favourite Gerstlauer. Uh, I will have to look out to get there. Won't be there this year, but I'm sure some of you will. So make sure you send in some pictures uh, and your review of the ride for us here on the show. If only smile I've had lap bars, eh? <laughs> uh, moving on then, a little bit of smaller news now, and that's from Legoland Windsor, uh, where a brand new ride has opened uh, last week. Mia's Riding Adventure. Uh, it's a brand new flat ride open at the park. So Heart Lake City uh, has all been done up. That whole area is brand new and now open. And you've got the Zamperla Disco Coaster. Uh, there's how it is. Ignore that it says how many days it is left to go. Uh, that's one of the only pictures I could really find of this ride. Obviously, I've not been down there and seen it yet. Um, but it's basically an Avatar Airbender style ride from Blackpool Pleasure Beach or Cobra from Chessington. However, it just doesn't have the, the camel back in, in the middle of that there. So, uh, But it looks great. I actually prefer the likes of this to, to Cobra. I think Cobra loses its sort of force, the fact it has the camelback in the middle. Uh, well, that's my personal opinion. I know a lot of people do prefer the camelback, uh, but I think it's a good addition for Legoland. Bit of a surprise addition. I mean, last month we didn't even know about this ride, and then suddenly it shot up. Obviously, this year at Lego, we were supposed to get that amazing uh, drop ride going in sort of like a, a haunted house style thing. Uh, it's a shame we didn't get that, but hopefully they're going to revise the plans and we'll get that either next year or the year after. So it'd be great to see. Moving on then from that, my reviews now of some of the latest attractions that I've been to. Going to start off with Skyfalls at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I was there the other day. The vlog's going to be online later this week. Uh, from the park but what we have got is a video online now which is of Amanda Thompson OBE doing the opening ceremony I think it's great to have an opening ceremony for a ride you don't get that enough in this country abroad you do in Europe and America but here in the UK when a ride opens no nothing seems to happen for you no big fanfare and stuff this was great they had the red arrows fly over uh, and obviously a nice little speech about the ride Moving on to the ride then, obviously it's a Gerstlau Skyfly ride, not many of these operating around to be honest, uh, it's the first one in the UK um, as well, as Mandy makes quite clear when she's uh, talking about it, and it says a unique ride, 12 seats, and that's caused a problem for me, you've got a capacity issues on that, um, you know the queue does move rather slow, we waited about 30 minutes maximum for it, um, but it was, it was worth it, it was good, uh, what I did like about it is you can have your controls to it, which is great. However, it does move around very slowly. And the fact it moves slowly around there means that when you spin, you don't just spin at this sort of speed, you spin ridiculous. You might think that sounds fun, but with Gerstner restraints, uh, same sort of restraints as Saw and the Smiler, very, very painful on the shoulders when you're adjusting this, so you grab onto each side, and basically you're told to swing it like this to get the motion to get spinning. It would have been much, much better if there was some sort of setting where you could either say, look, I only want to go this sort of speed, or even if it did it automatically on all of them. I think everybody would find it a much more enjoyable ride if it didn't spin quite as manic as it does. It gave me a massive headache. All of us thought that it was a little bit tough on the shoulders. Don't get me wrong, it's quite a good ride. Intense, yes, but in a spinny sort of intense, not an enjoyable intense. Uh, it says you get it a 3.5 G on it. I didn't feel much G's on there. It was more like a lateral feeling. Um, so the feeling that I'm not that keen on rides, and a lot of people aren't. It's had a lot of interesting reviews with Skyforce, but don't get me wrong. It's good to see a new thrill ride going into Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Whether it was the right one with the throughput and the actual ride itself, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to say that I do prefer Air Race at Drayton Manor. Um, that's my personal opinion. Yes, it's a bit slower going round, uh, but the main thing spins a lot quicker. And obviously, each arm spins round instead of the actual plane. So I think it's, it offers a bit more of a nicer feel on that one, definitely. Uh, both rides are still quite sickly, though, if you're doing too much. But yeah, it, it's a good ride, a good addition to the park. Great to see. It's worth going to check out. Like I say, we've not had a new thrill ride at Blackpool for years. So, very good. Finally then, in news off the rails, Treetop Quest at Alton Towers, the brand new High Ropes course opened last week, and well, what an experience. I'm going to let you into a little secret now, I might have ridden hundreds and hundreds of roller coasters across the world, but when I stepped off onto the Treetop Quest, it was the scariest thing I've ever done. Um, there is going to be a video online tomorrow night from that, 
uh, and you'll see just how scary it actually is. It's only eight meters high, but you only think, oh, eight meters, why is he so scared? But some of the, you know, obstacles on that are very scary. Speaking to some of the guys who run it over at Alton Towers as well, and they've said, you know, it's one of the scariest ones that there is out there in the UK. Uh, and I can see why, you know, some of the obstacles are really, really long, you know, you got full zip wires on it as well. Uh, around 12 obstacles, that's just a, a random guess there how many is there, it is around 12. Um, but it's great, we were on it for about an hour, some people can do it in half an hour, some people take longer. It all depends on how you feel on it, uh, really, but I was very, very scared. Like I say, watch the video tomorrow night, as in Thursday night. If you're watching it after Thursday, then it's already on. Uh, what would I give it out of 10? You know, it's a tough decision for scariness, 10 out of 10. For overall presentation of the ride, uh, the, the, the attraction, so to speak, uh, I, I'd give it a good 9. I think it's really good, well worth checking out over at Alton Towers. Really good pricing as well for the high ropes, it's £25. If you're an annual pass holder, it's only 20 So really, really good, good bit of fun. Uh, make sure you check out the video on that. That's all for news off the rails then this week. Let's have a little bit of Guess the Coaster. Like a Don't ask me why I just did Guess the Coaster in that funny voice, uh, but there you go, it's done now. Uh, yes, it is time for Guess the Coaster, and last week it was an interesting one. A lot of different comments down below for that one, but a few people did get it right, and that was Indiana Jones and the Temple of Peril at Disneyland Paris in Disneyland Park. Uh, there you go, it's a great ride, it's an adventure land, really nice theming around it as well, and it was refurbished a couple of years ago to keep that theming up to date and looks really, really good. This week then, let's have another Guess the Coaster for you guys. Here it is, it's coming up. Remember, it's just for fun. It's time for this week's Guess the Coaster. Stop. There we go. What do you think it is? All you need to do is comment below. Remember, it's just for fun. And we'll reveal it in next week's episode of Theme Park Worldwide The Show. it is time for Merge Paradise and he probably sat there thinking what's Sean going to show me this week? Is he going to show me a mug or a coaster wheel or a leaflet? No, I'm going to show you a chicken. <laughs> uh, this is not just any chicken though, this is from 2002, the 7th of August, where the press event was held for Spin Doctor at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Don't know if any of you remember Spin Doctor, it was on the Tom Sawyer Bridge, really good ride, it used to get big queues though. Um, but basically they sent this out because on the back it says there, are you a chicken or are you a softy? With the classic Pleasure Beach logo there, the old one with Mr. Funshine. Rest in peace, we love Mr. Funshine. You still get the biscuits though at the park. Um, but yeah, it was basically sent out to the press to say, are you a chicken or will you come and ride our new ride? There you go, he looks quite happy to be on Theme Park Worldwide. Uh, let's have a little look at what you guys have sent in then. Is it as strange as my chicken? Probably not, but let's have a look. Worldwide Attractions has got a picture there of their merchandise room. It looks really good. Definitely a mini world of theme parks. The Toast Ghost sent in a model of Rita from Alton Towers. Really good there. I love in your name. I love Toast and I love Ghost. So your name is uh, really good there on YouTube. Uh, Zara Monday has sent in a selection of mugs from Alton Towers and also a Balrock mug. Thanks for those. I love Balrock. Absolutely beautiful. And Alistair Dixon there, uh, some items for the Port of Ventura 20th anniversary. Really, really good stuff there in Merch Paradise. If you've got anything to send in, tweet it in at ThemeParkWW on Twitter or send it as a private message on our Facebook page. Just search Theme Park Worldwide. Questions, questions, questions everywhere. So yes, it's time for Ask Me Anything, and first up is a bit of a strange one, it's from Dan Bannon. Now, I wouldn't normally read out these type of questions, but I actually asked for someone to send this in. If you've watched the Europa Park vlogs, um, you'll know that I mentioned that I don't like Haven, and for someone to ask me on Ask Me Anything, bit of a joke, but people actually have. Um, so yeah, I love it, you know, it's good interaction. Um, but yeah, Dan Bannon has asked, why don't you like Haven? So, why don't I like Haven? Basically, when I was there as a kid, I had a bad experience, the, everything was really bad. Uh, but the worst thing, I fell on the floor um, due to the floor being uneven. Uh, as we rushed off to the hospital, it wasn't very nice at all. So that's why I've got bad memories of Haven. <laughs> so thanks for that. Uh, ben Pickering, what are your top five rides in the UK? Didn't state whether roller coasters or dark rides, so I've picked five of my favourites. Number five, Stealth at Thorpe Park. 
Number four, Apocalypse, the drop tower at uh, Drayton Manor. Number three, Valhalla, a fantastic dark ride at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Number two, Nemesis at Alton Towers. And number one, The Swarm at Thorpe Park. Uh, the top two there, Nemesis and Swarm, they keep swapping around all the time. It depends on the time of year, what mood I'm in and stuff really. Both of them though, really, really good. Get me on The Swarm on a nice hot summer's day on the front row, fire blowing off and all the good theming in action, you know, then yeah. I do prefer it to Nemesis. Um, but yeah, thanks for that. Next question then, uh, it's from Jenny Cousins. Really good question actually. When you were younger, did you ever want to ride as many roller coasters as you have now? Uh, no, you put, used to put me on the one pound, well probably two pound each rides now at the arcades, what, rock back and forward. I used to hate them when mum and dad put me on them. And then obviously they put, started getting me onto coasters and I thought, it's not so bad this. And then now look at me doing this YouTube channel. So yeah, there you go. That's that one. Good question there, Jenny. Finally, Gwiz402 has asked, what are your top five themed areas at theme parks? Now, I can't pick. This is one of the questions out there that's actually stumped me really, really hard. But I will tell you some of my favourite areas out there. I think it's important to remember that all different themed areas... Uh, change at the different parks you know it all depends how you're feeling at the time and uh, the ambience the weather it all affects how themed area is and obviously if everything's working right as well but some of my favorite areas there is out there is obviously at Disneyland uh, Disneyland Paris I really like Frontierland I love that western theme I like far western Port Aventura as well that's great Iceland at Europa Park obviously where Blue Fire and Woden is that's another one of my favorite themed areas out there uh, and also an interesting one, it's actually Duchess Alley at Europa Park because of the whole entrance area. I think it's really, really nice, really lovely area. So yeah, I can't pick five and put them in order. Sorry about that, uh, Quiz 402, but they're some of my favourites out there for you. I hope that'll do for you. Uh, that's all for Ask Me Anything. If you've got anything, all you need to do is send us a private message on the Theme Park Worldwide Facebook page. So it's time for the final section of this very action-packed show, and that's Interact With Me. First off, Michael Device with an Arthur on ride photo from Europa Park. Stephen Cox has got a photo from a behind-the-scenes tour on Stealth at Thorpe Park. Loving those guys. Good luck to Kane in your school exams. Do a good job, follow your dreams, and let us know how you get on there. So well done, good luck to you. Uh, Jenny Cousins, meet and greet with Mickey Mouse at Disneyland Paris. I love that. Me and Charlotte had such a great time. Check out the vlogs if you've not seen them. Stephen Preston's got a photo of me at the turnstiles. And so has um, Jordan Lofthouse, losing myself there, and Zach Farron, both with photos of me at the turnstiles. So great to see you guys. If you ever see me, make sure you come and say hello. I'm always happy to meet you enthusiasts out there. Charlie Crawley's got a photo with Woody Woodpecker at Port Ventura. And finally, a great one, say the best till last, and that's a photo uh, from Anna Curtis and her husband and his mate on Nemesis in 1994 and its opening year. Great stuff there, uh, here on Theme Park Worldwide. Just to mention as well, I forgot to say this earlier, but I've been going on about it for months, about when we're going to get an opening date. And Baron 1898, the brand new B&M dive coaster at F Tallinn, will open on July the 1st. We're going to be there, so just over a month's time, we're going to be there... Uh, a week after the opening, we're going to be there from the 11th of July, so it's second week of operation. Three days we're going to be there, three days of updates here on Theme Park Worldwide. That's all for this week, I'll see you back here next week. Get out there and ride some coasters, and that means it's time to cue those credits. See you later guys, have a good week.